Welcome back to today's edition of Laurier Live. I'm your host, the one, the only person that could get to do it, because, yep, no one else wanted to, so here I am, filling in. My name is Ben Grimes, and I will be your only anchor for today. Apologies in advance for the bad camera quality. Webcams are horrible. I know. One of the drawbacks of quarantine working. You know, I don't get to use the school's camera equipment while I'm at home. I get to use my own equipment, which happens to be a 720p webcam. Anyways, moving on. Before we get into the rest of the show, we've got a quick message from administration. Hello. I hope this message finds you well. First of all, I want to acknowledge the inherent challenges of remote learning and encourage you to try your very best. In addition, if you are finding things difficult, please don't hesitate to reach out to your teacher, to your guidance counselor, or your administration. We're all here to help you. In addition, we look forward to having everybody back in the building, and we are waiting to hear when it will be safe to do so. Take care, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you for the announcement. I'm sure that the other students are just as anxious to get back into in-person learning as I am. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. Hopefully this year is better than last year. Hopefully there's less quarantine. Hopefully COVID is gone. Speaking of the new year, Emma has a new video about just that. Here's Emma's New Year video. Whew, man, I'm having so much fun. By myself. All right, all right. Fun, everyone, happy new year. I gotta move back. Good night. All right, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna work out at least once a week. Gotta build some muscle. I didn't make a New Year's resolution this year. I was too preoccupied with other stuff to think about it. And Nathan seems to be a bit preoccupied too. Thinking of ways to go diving in the winter? I don't know, I don't get it either. He made a video about it though. Just cause it's winter, doesn't mean we can't practice our diving. Let's go. Go. Follow me. First, the cannonball. Then, we have the belly flop. And then here is a front flip. We all have lots of spare time on our hands during lockdown, and I decided to spend some of this free time making music. You see, I love music, and Ableton has this brand new AI which lets you convert audio waveforms into MIDI tracks. Chaotic fun, I love it. Bonus points if you can name the song that this monstrosity is based on. Do you like sports? I sure hope so, because Logan's made a clip recording all the sports highlights for the past two weeks. Welcome to the weekly NFL update. This is week 18, the final, the final regular season week, and a lot of important games for playoff matchups. We'll start in the AFC Conference, uh, where the first game was the Titans and the Texans, where if the Titans win, they would lock up the highest seed in that conference and get the first round by in the playoffs, which is a huge advantage for a team recovering from injuries. And they came away with a very close win, 28-25, to get that number one seed. Then, in one of the earlier games, the Colts were playing the Jaguars. If the Colts beat the Jaguars, they were in the playoffs. Jaguars, one of the worst teams in the league. It was pretty much a lock for most people thinking that the Colts would be in and would knock a lot of teams out. But the Jaguars pluffed the upset, winning 26-11. 
and this opened up the door for a lot of teams and it made this next game the Ravens against the Steelers much more interesting as they were playing to keep their hope their playoff hopes alive but they needed the Jaguars to win Jaguars win now both these teams they win they can get into the playoffs they push it to overtime and the Steelers kick a game winning field goal to get into the playoffs unless in this last game the Chargers and Raiders if they tie they both get in somehow and the Steelers don't get in so this game the Steelers fans just didn't, didn't want to tie the game goes to overtime in a back and forth thriller where the Chargers make put in overtime on a last second touchdown the overtime period goes all the way down to the last second where the Raiders barely get into field goal range kick a game winner setting the Steelers to the playoffs themselves to the playoffs and knocking out the Chargers, making this what the AFC playoff picture will look like. So this is the AFC playoffs. As I mentioned, the Titans got the first round by. We get the Chiefs and the Steelers in the next matchup, the uh, Patriots and the Bills in the second matchup, and then the, the Raiders and the Bengals playing in that third matchup. Then in the NFC, there wasn't quite as much going on. There were two teams left in playoff contention for one spot, the Niners and the Saints. The Saints won their matchup earlier in the day. The 49ers had a very tough matchup against the LA Rams. If they won, they were in. They lost, the Saints got in. They won their matchup after coming back 17 from 17 nothing, taking it to overtime as well, and winning 27-24 over the Rams to lock up the final NFC playoff spot. And we'll take a look at what that looks like. Here we have the NFC playoff picture. The Green Bay Packers had secured the first round by last week. Then we get the Eagles versus the Buccaneers. We have the 49ers versus the Cowboys and the LA Rams against the Arizona Cardinals. And that's all we have for you this week. It was a crazy week, a lot of, lot of chaos to end off the regular season. Looking forward to the playoffs. I'll see you then. I don't have another anchor here, which means there's nobody to laugh at my amazing jokes, but I want a sports joke for you Lancers. Have you ever wondered why the air always seems so cold at a hockey game? It could be because the stadium's always full of fans. That wasn't very good. Maybe if I had other anchors here, they wouldn't laugh at my jokes either. Do you want to be in Sir Will's 2022 yearbook? Well, now's your chance because they're accepting photos sent in by you, the students. Do you know how to submit these photos? Well, you will now because there's a slideshow coming in that will tell you exactly that. Thank you for that presentation, it was very informative. If you want to submit yearbook photos, you know where to go. Anyways, on with the announcements. Thanks a ton for sticking with us to the end of the show. If you're still here, it's probably because you love me and not the rest of the content, right? Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. Make sure to follow the school's Instagram at laurier.live or tweet us at laurierlive. Or if you ever wanted to cast your eyes on this beautiful camera quality and beautiful host, ever again, you could go to YouTube and search Laurier Live. Just don't do what I did and accidentally search Laurier Lice because you get some really weird stuff. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks guys. See ya.